So you've got an EV and you're trying to navigate all the tariffs by the various different energy companies and you keep getting bombarded with these offers of these drive packs, basically like a monthly subscription. And both Octopus have been doing this a little bit this year, but now Ovo are jumping on the bandwagon and we're seeing that follow through with other energy providers. They basically promote these as simple fixed costs, but it looks like another subscription. You know how much I hate subscriptions. So this is the basic premise of the Octopus offering. They call it their intelligent drive pack. And they basically say you pay them £30 a month every single month and then you can have unlimited charging. So on the face of it, it looks like good, a good offer, a known quantity. You know that instead of your old ICE vehicle, £100, £200 a month in fuel, oh, it's only £30 a month. Sounds like a bargain, doesn't it, on the face of it? Well, look at the details and quite quickly you realise that they're not doing this out of the kindness of their heart. There's probably a cheaper way for you to save a little bit of money. So this is the Ovo offering and Ovo similarly have this uh, charge anytime package that you can add on to any of their tariffs and they are rolling out some of these offers in the next week which is why I'm making this video. Now the Octopus has some stipulations you can only use it with one EV so if you've got two they consider that basically an abuse of their fair use policy whatever and the vehicle or the charger must qualify for intelligent go to be able to be used. Ovo is giving you a few different options here and their standard monthly subscription plan starts from £27.50 per month and they are a bit more unique than Octopus that they do include a public charging voucher for around 600 miles. Now I am really curious when they roll out the further details where can this voucher be used how is this going to be redeemed? Is this going to be simple like the Octopus Electroverse app, Octopus Electroverse app, which is just so brilliant. Their RFID card, it works flawlessly and charges to your Octopus account. Is it going to be something similar to that? Anyway, let me get into the numbers of it. Let's do some calculations. Let's work out who would benefit from jumping on one of these drive pack subscriptions and who would actually not benefit. No spoiler alerts, but I think you know where I'm going with this, right? Let's look at the numbers anyway. So the UK average mileage of a vehicle is 7,000 miles per year. The source is the Department for Transport. Uh, the average efficiency of an EV at the moment, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. Of course, I know there's some that get 4.5 out there. There's others that only get two. So we're just going to stick with the average. To drive those average 7,000 miles in an average EV, you're going to need 2,000 kilowatt hours of energy. Add in the 10% charging losses and you're looking at 2,200 kilowatt hours. That you would have to actually ch pay your energy provider to give you that electricity to charge it. So I've put together this little table and uh, after various graphs and everything else I thought it's too complicated let's just put one simple table together and hopefully I can talk you through this at the top here I've put the rates that you would pay if you're not on one of the drive packs you pay seven pence per kilowatt hour on Octopus Intelligent Go or Ovo with their charge package whatever they want to call it this month and for that seven pence per month you would get 7,000 miles, which would cost you £154 for the year. So driving the average amount of mileage with an average EV with 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, you're looking at paying £154 in electricity costs for the whole year. Now, if you double that mileage, you're well above the average uh, car travel distance mileage. <laughs> um, Oh, great. Perfect time for my ad blocker to tell me to subscribe. <laughs> um, 14,000 miles, you would require double 4,400 kilowatt hours. That would be £308. Now, these are colour coded in orange and purple for a reason, okay? This £330 is if you're on the lower tier of the OVO uh, charge pack that they're now promoting from the 4th of November goes live. They promised that you would have 8,000 miles of home charging 
uh, and they're saying four miles per kilowatt hour instead of three miles, 3.5. So they're being very optimistic, but they will also give you 600 public miles of charging. So over here on the left, you can see if you just pay at their base rate of seven pence per kilowatt hour, then you would, for that same 330 mark, 330 pounds per year, you could either go on their subscription model, get 8,000 miles of home charging, or you could get 15,000 miles of home charging in a, just a pay-as-you-go, you know, only pay for the consumption that is metered rather than a subscription model. And likewise, for Octopus, they wanted £30 per month, which would then be £360. And of course, yes, they said unlimited mileage, Um you could get 16,365 miles for your 360 pounds. Now, there are not many people that do more miles than that. If they do more mileage than that, then they are a heavy business user. They're typically being reimbursed or they may have company charging facilities. Um, there's not many private owners that would do that kind of mileage or more. So it's looking like already probably not worthwhile for that many people to get into these charge subscriptions. But let's keep going because there's some caveats here. £450 is what Ovo wants to charge you for their higher tier of their charge package, which would equate to 20,457 miles per year in your vehicle. They promise that that would be 1,200 miles 1200 12000 miles um and so you can see that you're getting on I, I know it's not quite double but if you look at the ovo numbers they're promising 8000 you could get 15000 by not being subscribed they promise 12000 you could get tw over 20000 by not being subscribed but this 600 public miles of charging credit really intrigued me i think it's really interesting and it's something that octopus could do very easily because of their tie-in with a lot octopus electroverse and they could add that kind of credit as well for public charging so this is some breakdown of the public charging offer of ovo 600 miles divide that by 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour you require 171 kilowatt hours to charge and i haven't put in any conversion losses i know i should probably put something in there but we're talking about dc rapid chargers the losses are a lot lower than ac to dc charging so i haven't left any uh losses in there so the average rapid charging cost is 70 pence which means that 600 miles of public rapid charging would be the equivalent of 120 pounds so you now see why it's worth crunching the numbers for yourself and doing your own sums and if you are just new to getting an ev i would recommend that you don't jump straight into one of these charge packages rather figure it out for a few months see if you can get away with mostly charging at home the vast majority of people with the vast majority of evs can do 90 five percent of their travel just with home charging so the conclusion is as always do your own sums crunch the numbers don't get sucked in and are most people better off with the subscription model i don't believe so i think most people would be better off just paying as you go just get onto the cheapest tariff that you can with your energy provider and if you're not with one that offers a competitive rate my links will be down below to join Octopus Energy. If you do, then it gives me £50 credit and you also get £50 on your account. I'll also leave a link to Octopus Electroverse. I believe it's the most seamless way to access public charging. And when you do join that, then I get £5 and you get £5 too. So I hope that's been helpful to you and you need to answer some questions for yourselves and put some of the numbers in yourself. I hope that's helped. Goodbye.